Now then, people, and welcome back to the Just Your Football Show, and it's time for your latest Leeds United update. I hope you are all doing well and have a great Tuesday. Before we get into the main crux of today's video, I just want to ask you to like the video, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in, and of course, hit that notification bell. I'm going to ask for a thousand likes as well, because there's going to be some breaking news concerning Rafinha and Calvin in the next couple of hours. If we get to a 1,000 likes on this video. As soon as that's hit, I will release that video. There is just a quick Rafinha update for you before we discuss the main topic of today's video. I am reliably informed that yesterday, Deco, the agent of Rafinha, was in London and was in talks with Arsenal about a prospective move. They are going hell for leather in hoping to acquire Leeds United's top player in Rafinha. Um, apparently Rafinha wants to move before pre-season. He's come sick and tired of Barcelona, will they, won't he? He wants that move to Arsenal. Of course, Barcelona want him, but they need to sell first. They're still haggling over Frankie de Jong to Man United. They want Lewandowski, all these different moving parts. And Rafinha's getting sick and tired. And it looks like Arsenal have spotted the opportunity and they are going to pounce. So watch this space on that. But as I say, a little bit later on, there'll be some more breaking news on Rafinha and Calvin Phillips. But before we do any of that, we're going to talk about current breaking news that came out last night in the early hours of this morning about American US men's national team defensive midfielder, Tyler Adams. If you remember, I spoke about Tyler Adams the day after we survived and stayed in the Premier League when I spoke about the American revolution. Jesse Marsh, Brendan Aronson, and of course, Tyler Adams. And he... He's seen by the club and many people as the perfect replacement for Calvin Phillips. If Calvin does move to City, which we all believe he will, then Tyler Adams will be his ready-made replacement. It's been reported in Germany by many reputable sources that Leeds United have an interest in the midfielder and RB Leipzig are willing to sell. The 23-year-old is under contract until 2025, but struggled for regular minutes last season in the Bundesliga. He has had a few injuries, it is worth noting. Um, I think last season he managed 24 appearances with 12 starts. And it is confirmed, as I said, that Tyler Adams is on the shortlist as midfielders to replace Calvin and is right at the top of that list. And Leipzig are willing to sell. Of course, Jesse Marsh is an ace in the pack. I think Benfica, a number of clubs have come and gone and looked at Tyler Adams, but Jesse Marsh is the ace in the pack because he gave Adams his pro debut back when he worked at New York Red Bulls. He then was obviously second in command to Ralph Rangnick at Leipzig when he moved over uh, to Leipzig as well. Um, there are a lot of people out there discussing uh, Kamara, who's currently at Salzburg. Um, some would favour him, but it doesn't seem to be that Leeds United are looking at him as an option. And I think Adams is, you know, top of that list. And of the options that we've been linked with so far, he, for me, presents the best prospect. He has Europa League and Champions League experience. Let's not forget, he scored the winning goal in the quarterfinal of the Champions League to beat Atletico Madrid, to beat them 2-1 and advance to the semi-finals of the Champions League. He's got an esteemed international career. Um, so he that, that sort of experience is invaluable. Of course, primarily, he does play as a midfielder, defensive midfielder in the Calvin Phillips mould, um, but is capable of playing in a number of positions, fullback, winger, on either side of the defence or midfield. He literally can play anywhere bar uh, attack. And, um, and and that's something that will will lend to Leeds United, to their style of play, what 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 Jesse Marsh will, will ask of him. And you could argue he had a great time when working under Marsh. Of course, he joined Leipzig back in January of 19, re reuniting him at that time with Jesse Marsh and made his debut uh, in January of 2019 and impressed in that game. And he earned the Man of the Match award. I think they beat Fortuna Dusseldorf like 4-0. Uh, but he won Man of the Match in his first appearance, breaking up countless Fortuna attacking moves. He was then injured in April. That's something we need to take into account that he does have a lot of injuries, a lot of niggling injuries. Um, but when he was injured in April, up until that point from January, when he'd made his debut up to April, Leipzig had not lost a single game with him on the field. You know, using that midfield prowess, breaking up them attacking players. You know, he has a German domestic cup to his name. 
Uh, I think he played in the final and lost to Bayern in one of them, but in the other, he came on as a sub. So that's top-level experience. I keep saying it. it is invaluable. He's known to his teammates and in America as the machine. We had the mop in Calvin. We've now got the machine or will look to acquire the machine in Tyler Adams. Um, he's a tenacious defensive midfielder, and his main skill is the ability to target opposition attackers and break up that play, which is what's going to be required under Jesse Marsh. It'd be re required under Bielsa. I, I think he's the perfect fit, and I, I'm not sure what the, the fee will be. Could it be 20 to 30 million? I'm not sure. Maybe Leeds fans, I want to know your thoughts in the comments. Would you be... Um, disappointed, would you want a more key name, a bigger acquisition for the money that we potentially bring in for, for Calvin? Because if we're looking to replace these players, we want to replenish that money and reuse it in getting a ready-made replacement. Same with Rafinha. It may not be that they are the same price, you know what I mean? Because then you're sort of breaking even as a football club. We understand as Leeds United fans where we are, we need to bring them in for a lower price and move them on for a higher price. Um, like we have done with Rafinha, you're bringing him in at 70 million, hopefully get 60 to 70, you know what I mean? So you, where we are as a football club, yes, say 50 million comes in for Calvin. I, as a fan, am a little bit realistic and don't expect us to then spend 50 million on a replacement. And maybe if Tyler Adams comes in for around 30 million, that'll be more around our ballpark. Would that be acceptable for you? Which other midfielders would you look at? Kamara aside, because I know there's a lot of Leeds fans gushing over him. Um, look, he's part of, a, of the next generation, exciting generation of US men's national team talent. And he looks like he'll be an integral part of, of their engine room for years alongside Brendan Aronson. That, again, is something that will be in the, the thought process of the powers that be in looking to acquire Adams. Because, look, football is a business. We know, I know for a fact, like Victor Orta, he brought someone in from the Asian market when at Middlesbrough. He tried to bring... Idaguchi into Leeds United, try to conquer that Asian market, maybe looking at shirt sales, etc. etc. Of course, of course, the players have to be a certain quality. But what I'm saying is this is something Orta and the club will think about. And bringing in Marsh, bringing in Aronson, and then the machine in Tyler Adams. Just think what that would do for Leeds United in the States. It it it's a no-brainer. You know, we're not just bringing in players that you could argue that, say, with Idiguchi, who weren't of the required quality. These players are of the required quality, you know. He played 75 times in the Bundesliga. He's got 30 caps for the US men's national team. He's got experience at Champions League and Europa League level, you know, to the latter stages of the Champions League as well, scoring the winner against Atletico Madrid in the court final. That is invaluable experience that can be added to this squad, you know. Um he is a player of undoubted quality and one that I said I would prefer. I know there's a lot of fans would. When I put the poll out, when I did the live video with James on Friday, that'll be back this Friday as well. We'll have plenty to discuss. A lot of people opted for Sander Berg. I think he won the poll at like 67%. I think Lavia and Tyler Adams were, were almost the same, which surprised me because maybe it's a lack of not everyone knowing about Tyler. Maybe it's because it's the Red Bull link. I think Leeds fans are getting frustrated that we keep going after Red Bull players, but it doesn't matter where they're from for me, as long as they're of the required quality. And, and I think Tyler Adams is of that required quality. You know, um, he's cut from a similar cloth as Phillips, you could argue, you know, and that 23, just 23, he has time to grow, you know. Uh, his game will hopefully improve. He, he was given his debut by Marsh, back at New York Red Bulls. He was then brought in over at Leipzig. You know, he did well. As I say, in his first start, he gets man of the match. He gets injured in April, but up until that point, he hadn't lost a single game. So you could argue at that time, he had a similar sort of impact at Leeds United, sorry, at Red Bull, that Calvin had at Leeds. Who can forget whenever Calvin was out, we lost. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was that integral. I think injuries have probably hampered his progression and, and that's meant, you know, a, a loss of a place in the side. And that's something also we need to consider because we don't want to be buying someone who's crocked. You know, I think for me, where we currently stand, if Calvin leaves and our replacements are three midfielder, three midfielders that look like Rocker, Tyler Adams and Romeo Lavia on loan, I am happy. I think that is a decent return for one individual leaving. And that's what Leeds United need to do. You know, we're getting bodies in. Last time we signed a midfielder was Forshaw. We're now looking like we could be on for free, you know. 
Um, so I'm excited right now as a fan. I'm excited by the signings. These, you know, I believe as soon as Calvin goes, Tyler, the wheels will start to turn and he will become a Leeds United player very, very soon. Um, and and that, and that's a good thing for me. I, I think it's a it's a great signing. He's got great potential. He's still very, very young. Um, and and I, f- I think he would fit in. And of course, it, it leans to Jesse's style of play. He's played with him before. It just makes it a bit of a seamless transition, you know, into pre-season. Jesse will welcome them in, the players. You know, we have a great group. Furpo said that when speaking to Mark Rocker, which which can only be positives, you know. I'm mean, really, really excited by the signing of Tyler Adams. And I think it would help us, you know, move the squad, maybe not, you know, on an individual basis, is he better than Calvin? No, but it will help us move the squad up another level, you know, not Premier League potential, Premier League ready. Premier League over and ready, and that's what we need. Thank you for watching this video. As always, as I say, smash the likes because there's going to be a breaking story uh, coming over the next few hours on Calvin and, of course, Rafinha. So watch this space. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in and hit that notification bell. And if you get a chance, get to get to watching the Bielsa video because I'll be tracking him at Bilbao over the next season or so, provided the election goes as we all want it to do. Uh, thanks as always for watching. I'll see you in a bit. Peace out. Lee, lee, lee.